Hey guys, um, so I've been saying for a while now we we're gonna do cooking videos, so I decided that we're gonna make one today. This is kind of impromptu. It is right now 3.30. We have, um, it's a spice breeze, it's a chicken vindaloo. Oh, can you see that's crooked? That's gonna bug me. Look at my cool, these are my quarantine clothes. That excites me. Oh, I know, such a fancy shirt for a fancy gal. All right, so anyway, um, the best the dollar store had that day. Uh, so anyway, we are gonna make chicken vindaloo tonight. We have it already marinating. So this is the Spice Breeze one. If you haven't seen my unboxings, I do this one every month. Um, it's a Spice subscription. Theirs is, um, their spice packet they include has, uh, cumin, coriander, turmeric, white poppy seeds, cinnamon, cloves, and cashmere chili. We did add some of our own chiles to it. Um, and it's marinating, I'll show it to you in a second. Um, but yeah, so I decided we'll do a cooking video. It's still marinating. One thing my husband did say is this recipe doesn't call for like any vegetables. So we're gonna add some potatoes and things like that to it and try it out. He's really excited. Um, so yeah, I figured this would be fun, right? All right, so I'll be right back with my marinade. So oh, here is, yes, it's un, I didn't, I didn't cover because I'm a bad person. There it is, it's just chicken, and we obviously added garlic and ginger in the spice packet, and then the chicken is salted and peppered. We are not gonna give this to the kids. We have some uh, drumsticks over there we're gonna give to them, because this is gonna be a little too spicy. Um, so yeah, so we're really pumped for that for tonight. And yeah, we got our Misfits Marcus, so our vegetable drawers runneth over. I love it. I love seeing it like that. Yes, baby. Um, so I will see you guys in a little bit when we are actually doing the cooking. So right now I got this guy cooking onions. Well, cutting onions. And then we're going to fry them in here according to the recipe. How's that? So right now I got this guy cooking onions. Well, cutting onions. And then we're going to fry them in here according to the recipe. How's that? Why is that so we're making the kids dinner. Look at that. Oh yeah, brown chicken. It's got some salt, and pepper, and parmesan. <laughs> very culinarily. Yeah, exactly. A very sophisticated palate. Uh, <laughs> so then we're gonna make them a little salad too. This is cucumbers. I'll cut up some grape tomatoes, pomegranate molasses, garlic, sumac, and a little bit of oil, and it's a delight. Um, and then we're getting our pan ready. We're gonna put the onions in there, saute those for a while till they're brown. This is actually really simple. Since our chicken's already marinated, it's been marinating, we'll add, after the onions are brown, we'll add the chicken to the thing, add that, the potatoes, and then we're just gonna add some sugar and water and simmer it covered for like 30 minutes and that's all. So, yeah, cool, right? Easy. So I cut up, oh my gosh, it's sideways. Yeah. All right, so I cut up my um, cucumber and my tomato and then for my dressing, all I do, and I'm cheating, I'm using garlic powder. I usually use whole garlic. Like you guys probably think we're crazy. We have like little dinosaur bones from Oliver and also candy cigarettes, which that was its own funny joke. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna add that all in and then I'll show you in a second. So here it is. It's done. Um, it's really good. And that's all I use. This is sumac, which is like my favorite seasoning. I talk about this on my channel all the time. It's kind of got a lemony tangy. The canola oil, which we usually don't use, but my mother-in-law salad dressings are so good and she only uses this so in her salad, so there's that. And the garlic powder, this, if you use real garlic, it's way better, but I'm cheating. And the pomegranate molasses, which you can order on Amazon, I'll link to that below. All right, well, I'll be back. Right, Look at our onions are cooking down here for our vindaloo. It makes smell really good. And my husband's making fun of me because I keep saying, I'll be back. So I'm gonna stop saying that and just cutting the scene. You better. <laughs> You better. <laughs> so our onions are brown. We have the fan on, so it's kind of loud. And now we're just going to add the chicken. It's marinated. We also added our potatoes to it and then threw it in the freezer. So it, we pre-cooked the potatoes, I should say, so that they wouldn't um, so they'd stay cool. And now we're just going to um, add the sugar and water and then simmer it for 30. No, we cook it. And oh, then. we cook it for five minutes, and then we do that. Yeah, that's right. I know that if I read the recipe, but... Good right? thing I read the recipe. <laughs> All right, now we're going to cover this and cook it for 10 minutes on medium heat. But cooking, and then after that, stirring frequently. Yes, we have to stir it frequently. And then we're going to uncover it, add some hot water and sugar, and then cook for... 
30 minutes over medium low heat. So there's that. And we're making some tea. Because somebody likes iced tea. It's not me. I don't. It's me. It's him. Yeah. I like it a lot. So there you go. All right, guys. We added our sugar and our water. Now we're going to cook it for 30 minutes. While we do that, we're going to play a Wordscapes tournament. Because that's our priorities. I'm going to drink beer too. <laughs> Vivian's dinner. She wants to show you guys. So everything's done. This is the kids. They're just going to have some drumsticks. Like I said, the little salad, some mashed potatoes. And this is our vindaloo. It's all done. Uh, my husband accidentally touched his nose with some spicy chili. And he is suffering. Like my favorite city in New York. All right. That's going to end this video. Thanks for coming to cooking with us. Chicken vindaloo style. Toodaloo.